here we have a book spot on DC Who's Who in the DC Universe. Um, if you watched my review on the Marvel Universe Masters Edition, these are very similar in design. I think they actually came, came a little uh, later than the Marvel ones. Um, if you had seen them in the comic book store, they would have come in sheets like this. And they were more expensive too. I paid, well these would have been six fifty in Canada and there's a date as well, August 1990. So if these were 1990 I would say that the Marvel Universe Masters Edition was probably mid 80's then. And so there we have like, there's one, there's two, there's three. And then same with the Marvel Universe, on the side it will give the contents to who's all in this sheet set. Um, you'll also notice that each sheet set has holes. Um, the one thing I didn't mention with the Marvel Universe Masters Edition was that when you open when you open these up, um, they're they're almost like a memo book. They've got a glue adhesive on the side, and the idea is you just you tear off the sheets, and then and then you'll have the loose sheets. So I would say. If you buy this, if you buy these ones, or you buy the Marvel Universe Masters Edition, you have to be very careful when you peel them off because um, I had actually peeled one off and ripped it when it was coming along the glue. Uh, luckily enough, I had an extra one, so it wasn't too bad of a uh, too big of a deal. But um, now the good thing about these, unlike the Marvel Universe, was that they're standard eight and a half by eleven. In fact. They're a little bit wider, but same dimensions on the side here. And then you can, so that means you can put them in, in into any binder, which is nice. Uh, if we have just a look at the character here, uh, I put all of these in alphabetical order. So first one I have is Adam Strange. So we've got a picture of Adam Strange here, and on the back, you've got the character, you've got his occupation, you've got his known relatives, first appearance, and just a bio and a couple of pictures on the bottom here. Um, it's a bit of a crapshoot because the DC have a nicer back than the Marvel. The Marvel were just a black and white. They're laid out a little nicer, but it's unfortunate that instead of doing the character designs, they've just included a picture from a book, like one of the comics. Um, it may not have even been a comic cover. It might have just been an artist drawing, but it would have been nice if it just showed the character and not necessarily all the other stuff that's with it. Some of these aren't too bad, but you get to other ones where it's the artwork's a bit rough on them. Like that, for example. The Hacker Files. But, uh, there we have Jon Stewart. Um, like I said, these books, unlike the Marvel Universe Masters Edition, are 8.5 by 11, so you can put them into any binder that you want. Um, I, of course, opted to get the actual DC Who's Who book. Um, the only downside to it is there's only there's only two designs. If I grab the other one here. There's this one, and then there is this one here. Um, being that there is only two of them, I ended up getting two of these, because you need about three three binders to fit everything comfortably. And there's the side of the binder here. But yeah, so I have I have two of these, and then I've got the single one of those uh, to hold all the sheets. Um, they're not bad. They're nice looking sheets. I'm still a bigger fan of the DC of the Marvel Universe Masters Edition. I would say if you want to start investing in anything, I would probably get those over these guys. But uh, still a nice collection. Definitely would want to. I would recommend it to anybody who collects the comics and 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 is into it, into the backstories and all that, like I am. So uh, so there you have it, a book spot on DC Universe. Who's who? See you guys next time.